Hi guys, this is Friday Biology, and this is my broken wing. Uh, on the top of a standard frame. <laughs> uh, steering wise, it's actually pretty good. It's just got two wheels, which is a little bit annoying for this new sandbox. And I wanted to show off the new sandbox. This is the new sandbox. Uh, we have a tower with glowy domes, we have little train tracks, we have target practice, we have an encampment of some sort, cages with oxen and things, and drift tracks. Arches that you can fly through, floating islands and cubes in the sky. These move, it's very fun. Then I have crushy balls of doom or building blocks of doom or whatever the hell this is, uh, allowing you to get up on top, which is very fun. We also have a village, and that's what I'm going to play with today. So, unfortunately, this isn't as fast as the little wing, but the little wing, unfortunately, doesn't like uneven ground, and there, there are occasional little lumpy bits or pop-up blocks like this one, which just like to go every now and then. Very fun. Either way, we are going to show you how I'm elevating my rockets at the moment. And this is how. We have suspension, turning block, grabbers. We bring in, we launch. It's relatively easy and give some accuracy. Uh, we're also turning using a piston system which allows our guys to actually turn on a smaller radius without actually going further which I quite like for my tanks. Um, I've stopped using tank tread kind of designs uh, and I've started to move towards spin blocks or turning blocks and coupling joints. Uh, it allows me to have as much access as I need. Let's just press follow it around. Should have. There we go. Turning. Thought I had one just here though. Either. Uh, let's fire these guys. These are my rockets. We allow them to come forward. And we're firing them incorrectly. Let's turn correctly though. Uh, they're alternative so they're pretty easy. Fire and they should hit stuff and explode. Should hit stuff and explode. <laughs> they exploded. Then I got a house over here. I'm, I'm pleased with that. That's fine. Uh, either way, I hope you guys like this because this block here prevents it from coming back. So you can have a locked in piston section. Right? using the weight of this piston block because this drops down ever so slightly preventing it from coming fully back. So if you want to fully extend a spear, one of these uh, spikes, armor plating uh, for, I haven't found a, a protective way of doing a roof for scale armor yet, but I am working on it. Uh, but it, it's, yeah, it's putting, using this instead of the, the hinge, what is it? It is called a slider. Using a slider instead of a conventional wooden block, right, allows you that little bit more variety kind of thing. Um, you can still use it, it still hides, it's pretty good. Uh, and using these, I've still bugged out, so unfortunately, I don't know, it's not going to work, but yeah, it's going to be fun. Uh, you could also probably use prevention, but it'll be okay. Either way, I need to go, so we'll see you later on. Okay? Okay, later.